The word rationale is derived from the word ratio, which means quotient. The rational numbers are numbers which are numbers which can be written as a quotient of two integers, such that a over b, wherein b must not be equal to zero. B is not equal to zero because if B is zero, that will give us undefined. Now, let us determine or let's have some examples of rational numbers. Examples are the number five. We know that this is a whole number, but any whole number, just like five, can be written as a rational number that is equal to 5 over 1. Another is 0 0.06 that is equal to 6 over how many zeros? So we have two zeros for the denominator. To write decimal, just count the number of decimal point and that is equivalent to zeros. One, two, so two zeros. Let's say 0 0.25. This is equivalent to 25 over two decimal place, so two zeros. We also have Zero point three, then the bar sign on top of the number three. So this is equivalent to copy the number three over we have one decimal place, but instead of writing zeros, we're going to write nine. And to simplify that is equal to one over three. One. So this is the introduction of rational numbers. And now let us determine which of the following numbers from 1 to 10 are rational number and which are not. I will answer numbers 1, 2, and 3. Then you will answer 3, a 4, this Sorry for this, 3 and 3, so this will become 4, uh, 3, let's say 3 sub 1, and 3 sub 2. So you're going to answer 3 sub 2 to numbers 10. Okay? Again, I will answer numbers 1, 2, and 3. So then you're going to answer 3 sub 2 up to 10. Okay, let's name it 3a and 3. Okay. Determine which of the following is a rational number. Number one, square root of four. We know that the square root of four is equal to two. And two can be written in rational form as two over one. Two over one. So this is a rational number. Okay? Number one, rational number. Number two, pi. The value of pi is 3.1416 and so on. We know that pi has infinite place for the decimal. So this is not a rational number because we cannot write it in A over B form. And 3a, 1 over 12. This is a rational number. Okay. Next, 3b. It's your turn to answer numbers 3b to number 10. Number 3 and 
Number four, 1.89. Number five, 0.23 in the bar. Number six, 0 0.1313. Number seven, 1.75 grapes or over five. Number nine, 0 0.5. And number 10 is square root of five. If you want to answer num uh, 3B to 10, you can pause the video. Then after answering, you can resume watching and check your answers. For 3B, 10. This is a rational number. Why? Because 10 can be written as 10 over 1. Number 4, 1.89. Rational number or not? It is a rational number. Why? Because 1.89 can be written as a rational number. In rational form. Number 5, 0 0.23 in the bar. So this is a rational number. Okay. Later on, we're going to write how to simplify a decimal with the bar on top of the number. Okay, number four, this can be written as 189 over how many decimal place? One, two, so two zeros now. So this will be the rational form. For number three, the rational form is 10 over one. And in this case, 23 over 99. Okay, this is the rational form. We're going to tackle on how to simplify this kind of um, of decimal in our next videos. Simplifying, terminating, and non-repeating non decimal. Number six, 0 0.1313. 13. This is a rational number. Again, we're going to discuss in our next videos on how to simplify or how to write this decimal form into rational number, rational form. 1.75, rational. So that is 175 over 100. Obviously, 4 over 5, it is a rational number. Number 9, 0 0.5, it is equal to 5 over 10. So, it is a rational number. And number 10, square root of 5. Square root of 5 is a rational number. Because 5 is not a perfect number. Unlike in number 1, 4 is a perfect number. can be simplified. Square root of 4 is 2. But in this case, we can write it into a rational number, so this is not a rational number, not a rational number. Okay, that is on how to determine whether the decimal is a rational or not. Thank you for watching Senior Public TV and for our next lesson, how to write or how to transform decimal to rational number. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo.